karibu ni sana watazamaji kwa majina naitwa Shiro Stuart na ningetaka kuwakaribisha sana 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 katika hii show yetu ya leo na siku ya leo nimekuja kutembelea mama ambaye mnamjua vizuri sana we have been here before and you guys you know her story and if it's your first time you're watching her story atatuguzia tu kidogo kidogo kwenye ametoka na bona ako na au watoto wadogo tu hapa hivi na ningetaka mjue ningetaka ukae tu hapo chini usikize ndio tujue watoto walitoka wapi uh, mama utaipeleka kiasi haraka kidogo mm. eh, kwa sababu kuna mtu wajaiona hii, hii testimony before yeah. na mwingine aliona ilikuwa ni ya kikuyu na hakuwa hakuconnect ndio hakuelewa eh, hakuelewa mm. eh so ningetaka sasa tuifanye tu na Kiswahili mm. uh, ile lugha kila msee ata, ata understand ya yeah? yes, yes, eh yes. so tuambie tu majina mm. ehe mm. kwa jina naitwa Sara Wanjiro Mwangi uh, mimi ni mama wa watoto watatu wa kuzaa niko na mwingine nimelea dada yangu aliaga nikamlea tu mdogo saa hii yako college kwa hivyo ni mkubwa wow. na tunaishi hapa Kahawa West na kuna itwa Kongo karibu na Farmers Choice Kahawest roundabout karibu na Farmers Choice hapo ndio tunaishi na familia yangu uh, niko na baba wao ako Gishagi eh, sasa tuko hapa na watoto wengine wawili huyu anaitwa Rimwen Jason Tugi na huyu anaitwa Riam Joash Tugi uh, hawa watoto mama yao alikuwa ananisaidia kulea watoto wangu na alinisaidia kulea watoto wangu kwa miaka minane. nikakaa naye kwangu alikuja akiwa na 18 years alitoka na 25 years kwa hivyo hata mtoto nilipata uh, mimba na nikasa na akamlea 6 years ndio saa hii ako anaenda 20 years so my last born anaenda 20 years so how are, na mama yao akapata akapata mtoto wa kwanza 2016 akakufa akapata mwingine 2019 akakufa sasa hawa alikuja kupata 2021 November 8 Okay. Kuba, na alipokuwa anawapata mm. bado alikuwa anafanya kazi kwako. Hakuwa anafanya kazi kwangu, mm. alifanya kazi kwangu kwa miaka minane yeah. akarudi akatoka sasa amekuwa mtu mzima, mm. akaenda kujitafutia maisha. Yeah. So but tuli remain kama mama na msichana wake. Mm. Upendo ule tuli tuli board miaka nane mm. ikawa kama mama na msichana wake. Wow. So tulikuwa tunapendana sana sana sana. Mm. Uh, alipopata hata alipopata aliolewa kwanza 2016 lakini akawatwa na mimba ya miezi mitano kwa nyumba akatupigia simu tukaenda tukamchukua tukamlete kwa nyumba tukakaa naye akamalizia miezi hiyo minne eh, bado alikuwa anafanya kibarua yake lakini anarudi kwa nyumba tukampeleka hospitali akapata huyo lakini akaaga 2016 Eh, 2019 akapata mimba ingine akazaa bado tukampeleka tu hosi lakini akaaga mtoto so 2021 uh, ndio akaniambia sasa mama sitakaa tena bila mtoto wacha nitataka nita mtoto 
Kwa sasa alipopata mimba ya hawa hata akakuja akasimama hapa nikaona ikiwa kubwa sana nikamuuliza we, hiyo mimba ni kubwa sana kwa ya miezi mingapi sija kuona akaniambia ni miezi mitatu tu nikamwambia hapana hii mimba ni kubwa sana akaniambia nikamwambia aende afanye ultrasound kwenda kufanya ultrasound uh, akaniletea bedroom uh, report akaniambia shika watoto ni wawili na hiyo ni siri yangu na wewe Sijui kama hakutaka watu wajue ama hakutaka nini mm-hmm. lakini aliniambia hiyo ni siri yangu na we. Mm-hmm. Cha ajabu ni akipenya alisema ni siri yangu na ye. hawa watoto ndio wamekuwa kilala kwa hiyo kitanda. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo hapo tu aliniletea ultrasound report mm-hmm. ndio huwa wanalala kwa hiyo kitanda tu. So siri ndio mm-hmm. hii tu. Bado mm-hmm. siri iko hapo tu. Iko tu hapo. So alipo alipoenda hospitali kupata hawa alinipigia simu akaniambia amepata watoto uh-huh. ni muende amekuwa discharge ni muende uh-huh. so nikamuendea uh-huh. nikamlete kwa nyumba yake kwenye alikuwa na amekomboa uh-huh. nikakaa na yeye Thursday eh, jioni juni nilimtoa Thursday nikakaa Thursday eh, na Friday uh, Saturday nikatoka kidogo kwenda kununua mattress na jua alikuwa amefanywa CS Mm. nikaona ninunue matres strong eh, akulalia yeye na watoto mm-hmm. so nina diapers za watoto na madamos mm-hmm. saturday nikatoka kidogo so mm-hmm. kabla nirudi sasa napigiwa simu anti si ukuje haraka angalia na hisi baridi na anasikia kukosa hewa sasa hiyo ni kitu kidogo tu nikakimbia tu ni karibu ni hapa chini tu mm-hmm. nikakimbia nikaita kauba juu nilijua ni wasi yes mm-hmm. so singeenda uh, bila gari mm-hmm. juu kama ni emergency tumkimbisha hospital mm-hmm. so nikaenda na kagari kauba kufika nikapata kumbe aliposidiwa msichana ule nilikuwa nimemwachia alipiga nduru so watu wote wakajaa wapi wakajaa hapo So imagine nishuka gari ile nilikuwa ikienda nikasema gai isikuwe ni mtoto wangu watu wanatazama kube ilikuwa yeye ame ame ametolewa nje alikuwa amelalishwa hapo kabla gari ipatikane e, sasa nilipata akiingishwa kwa gari tukamuingisha gari tukamkimbisha hapa rifaro yenye gari nilikuwa naye nikasema watoto waingizwe ndani tuandamane mpaka wapi mpaka hospitali tukaenda ke yu rifaro lakini tukiwa hapa jiani kuna kitu ilifanyika tu nikasikia nimekuwa wet nikaguza roho yake nikasikia imenyamaza so hata tukifika ke yu wali announce tu hayuko uh, wakajaribu ni station wakatuambia imeshindikana so hapo ndio mwanzo ya watoto kukua na mimi. Juu kabla tufanye process ya kuweka mwili mochal ilifika saa tano ya usiku. Mm. So ndio tulikuja tu nikapigia watu wao nikawambia mm. ameenda mm. na nikawambia uh, watoto tuko nao. Mm. So it was on a Saturday, Sunday wakakuja. Na, na before uh, again because mlikuwa mm. mlikuwa na yeye ya yeah. ni ile time mlimtoa hosimu kakuja naye kwa nyumba mm. alikuwa anakuambia nini like tuseme kidogo nilipomtoa hospitali mm-hmm. alinionyesha tu dawa ya pressure mm-hmm. yakaniambia amedistajua na na tu dawa ya pressure akiwa akimesa kidogo kidogo mm-hmm. so alimeza hiyo mm-hmm. uh, siku tulikuja naye na Friday asubuhi pia akameza so Saturday eh, sasa nilikuwa nimemwacha kidogo lakini nini, nini alipoaga nilifanyisha kitu inaitwa postmortem mm-hmm. do in a span of 20 minutes mtu mmeongea naye na amekufa mm-hmm. it was nini stua sana mm-hmm. so nika, nika request for postmortem mm-hmm na ndio nijue ni nini imemaliza wangare haraka hivyo so ni ilipofanyika ilisemekana ni kitu inaitwa uh, help syndrome help syndrome uh, inafanya everything inafura brains organs all organs zinafura so within a span of few minutes unaenda 
So hiyo ndiyo niliambiwa ile fine. Na inapata ina, ina wamama wamejifungua. Ina, inaweza kupata at that eight month weeks of pregnancy. Okay, yeah. Ama ikupate after delivery. So I think ni vizuri madaktari pia wakati mama amejifungua asidischargeiwe haraka sana kama amepatwa na ka issue kama ako ka pressure na amepata labda twins ama amepata tu mtoto lakini kuna kashida kametokea mm. nafikiri ni vizuri pia kupatia mtu amejifungua time especially na CS na CS kama sasa ilikuwa CS so it was so sensitive mm. tujui sasa hiyo mm. ilikuwa iliniweka uoga sana mm. dakika less than 20 alikuwa ameaga so it was tufanye postmortem tujue ni nini so tukaambiwa ni help syndrome so ikawa hivyo na ikawa so hapo ndio mwanzo ya hawa watoto sababu alipoaga sasa ni usiku huo wa saa tano Tua, ya usiku tuanze kutafuta tutapea watoto nini matiti imeenda shiru matiti imeenda ya kupatia watoto maziwa so ni tutafute ni nini tutapatia watoto so na smoda katuambia kuna maziwa ya nan mtaanza na nan one so tukatumana ni usiku sana tukatumana dika road tukatafuta nan one ndio tukakuja ati hapa ndio tulianzia hapa tumeketi introduction ya kama ziwa na mnyonyi ya kupea watoto na chupa so tukawapea na then watu wao pia walikuja but uh, kwa sababu kuna situation zingine uwezi epukana nazo tukaona watoto wakae tu mimi nikaamua sasa nitawacha kazi niliwacha niliwacha kila kitu nikasema wacha nipe hawa watoto niliwapea 100% of my hours 100% of my energy Mm-hmm. Sijawahi yeah. rudi nyuma shiro mm-hmm. nimeendelea na hiyo morali ya kuwatunza mm-hmm. na ndio nimewatunza kutoka 5 days mama yao aliyoaga wakiwa na 5 days bado kutoka hapo nilienda nikalala nao hospitali walikuwa na jodis mm-hmm. na bado kutoka hapo huyu Liam mm-hmm. alikuwa na hania ya tumbo bado nishaenda nikalala na yeye akafanya hiyo surgery amefanyiwa surgery na akapona na mambo yote yamekuwa sawa e, nikaona maziwa hii ya nan juu nilianza nao miezi sita bila kukuwapatia kitu kingine na nikaona imewa sustain na wakawa sawa mimi nikasema nitaendelea kuwapatia tu kuwapatia tu kama is the second to the mother nikasema wacha niwapatie by the way shiro mi unyonyesha mtoto wangu mpaka tu enda have years kumnyonyesha nyonyo so mpaka anaongea so niliona nisikatishe hii maziwa ya nan wacha niendelee tu kuwapatia mpaka wafike tu enda have wapi imeandikwa imeandikwa nini kwa wapi hiyo maziwa imeandikwa 36 weeks 36 months aha So mimi ni miaka tatu. Yeah. So nimeona juu kama sasa hii wanatoa meno mm. wanashindwa kukula kitu yoyote. Maziwa inawasaidia. Maziwa inakuwa kama chakula kwa tumbo. Mm. Mtoto hawezi kukusumbua. Yeah. Uta, ukisikia analia unamwekea, unaweka dhiki kidogo. Mm-hmm. Inakuwa kama chakula. Mm. So huyo mtoto kama huyo hajakula siku karibu wiki yote anakula tumatunda kidogo na maziwa. Mm. So ninaona ni vizuri bado kuendelea kuwapea hiyo maziwa ya nani mm-hmm. na ndio nimeendelea kuwapatia. Mm-hmm. Sasa hii sasa hii uh, uh, walifika 2 years. Mm. Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So sasa ndio wanakula kula kitu kidogo kidogo na ninawapea hiyo maziwa ya nani. Sijawahi mm-hmm. wacha kuwapatia. Lakini iko too expensive. Mkebe expensive, moja yeah. imefika 1960. 1960 hiyo ni 2000 nimekosa 40 bob ifike 2000 mkebe mmoja na wana grow wana grow wana kunywa wana grow vizuri 
Yeah. Ani unafanya kazi nzuri mam. Yeah. Hata sijui naweza sema nini. Mm. Um, ka, kama kama ni mara yako ya kwanza unatu, unatuangalia siku ya leo. I'm telling you this lady amefanya job poa sana. Na ukimwangalia of course um, si ati ni mzee sana na tena si young sana. Kuko na watoto kama hawa wakilia usiku anaamka na wapatia maziwa. Mam nimesikia ukisema hata una mwana mgongo. Yaani na ni mapacha they are twins. Si kazi rahisi. Na mama amesema aliacha job ya yeah? anafanya kazi yao watoto 24/7 meaning hata kitu ya kuwapatia wana depend na sisi na kuna watu wapala wanauliza mbona unaweka watoto kwa kamera au tunaweka kwa kamera because ni wetu they are part of our family sisi na wale watu wa social media sivyo yes. jo watu wa social media yeah. dio wanasaidianga huyu mom so pia wewe ni get na hata mimi mwenyewe nimekuja leo because they turned two years ndio maana unaona wakiwa na makala zuku walikuwa nakata keki mmeona hapo so they just turned two years na tunashukuru Mungu enyewe mama umefanya kazi poa sana na wale watu wako pale kama ushaituma maziwa yako whatever it is that you ushaituma yani aki Mungu awasaidie tu sana 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 atujui tunaweza kuambia aje na tunataka tu kuwaomba msichoke tusaidie hao watoto mpaka wa grow kabisa hata wakiitwa shule you know hata wakienda high school wasije wakapata tisi siku moja hawana nini hawana school fees yani tuwashikilie tu, 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 tu kabisa mpaka wakike ile ile whatever the age that um, wanaweza wanaweza kujitegemea so mom yes uh, kuna like family yao do they wanakuja kuona watoto hakuna hata mmoja eh. anakuja hapa kuona mm-hmm. hata simu mm-hmm. hakuna na hakuna mtu asaitokelezea akasema we understand mama walikuwa single mama mama, si ndio? mama, mama yao alikuwa single mm-hmm. hapo ameolewa eh. eh, lakini ule rafiki alikuwa naye mm-hmm. alikuwa mzee mm-hmm. so huyo mzee eh, siku moja tulionana mm-hmm. nikiwa hospitali mm-hmm. akaniambia Uh, watoto mm-hmm. eh, alikuwa ameambia msichana juu mimi ni mzee mm-hmm. na wewe ni mchanga msichana mm-hmm. ukipata mtu wa kuoa unaweza olewa mm-hmm. so hiyo ni kumaanisha wakati alimwambia ako na ball mm-hmm. alimwambia ukipata mtu wa kukuoa unaweza olewa so aliponiambia hivyo na niko hosi yeah. watoto walikuwa nafanyiwa phototherapy mm-hmm. eh, nikafikiria alikuwa anasema hivyo ndio aondoke mm. ali eh, alimwambia bora mtoto apate mtu mwenye atesi watoto mm-hmm. so hata aku amejua ni wawili saa hiyo alikuwa anamwambia aolewe mm-hmm. alifikiria ni mmoja tu mwenye atamwambia ukipata mtu wa kukuoa akuoe tu mm-hmm. yeye yeah, alikuwa na familia mbili mm-hmm. uh, na, na ni mzee so hapo sasa hakuna bia nyenye ningeenda kumfikia ti lea hawa watoto mm. so nyinyi watu wa media ndio mm. mmenisaidia kufikisha watoto hapa mtu amenishikilia hapa huyu ananishikilia hapa lakini saa zingine shiro najipata mm. sina daipa sina maziwa sina anything najipata peke yangu sababu kuna kitu moja nilipatana na uh, mama mmoja akaniambia ati sisi tuli, tuliona uh, uko social media mm-hmm. tukafikiria umekuwa overwhelmed na support mm-hmm. so nilimwambia vile wewe uliona nimekuwa overwhelmed na support dio rafiki yako mwingine aliona niko overwhelmed na support na, na mwingine akaona niko overwhelmed na support akakosa kunisaidia akakosa kunisaidia lakini kumbe vile uliona na huyu akaona na huyu akaona nilibaki peke ya peke yangu so nikawa peke yangu ni shiro there are many challenges eh, nimepitia unaona hii simu yangu ilikuwa imeenda na msichana wa kazi nilishindwa kumlipa akakuja hapa kunidai akanitusi sana akikujia pesa zake akanitusi mpaka nikamwambia ebu shika simu uongee na mwenye alilete wewe hapa sababu si kukunyaganya na kunyaganya simu na kunyaganya pesa zako nitakulipa tu lakini for now sina eh, tafadhali you just wait unajua nikiwa pale kitchen nilimuona kwa gate akikimbia na simu yangu Mm. Sasa hii simu ndio mtu anaweza nitumia mia tatu ya daipa na nunua tatule tudogo hivi. Na nunuanga kale kanatoshana hiyo Soviet. Mm. Kale ka, 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 ka daipa 
eh, saba mm. eh, dio sasa nikamwona ametoroka na simu sasa ilibidi nitoe viatu shiru nikimbie nikimbie na huku nikipiga nduru mm. nikisema mwizi dio nisaidiwe na simu mtu wa boda dio alikimbia na dudhi akamshika mm. dio nikarudishiwa hii simu hata simu singekuwa naye so mm. there are many challenges kulipa msichana wa kazi mm. kununua chakula na utoki na unataka kununua sabuni mm. sababu lazima ukwe na mtu wa kukusaidia kuosha nguo mm. wakati unaosha watoto mwingine amelia unataka mtu wa kukusaidia kushika so challenges ni mingi sana mm. na naomba mtu kama uko na that seed of love mm. if you have that seed of love mm. wewe peana tu mm. usigoje huyo mwingine useme atapeana hapana we peana pako mm. kama kuna mwingine anapeana mm. na yeye abarikiwe vyake na we ubarikiwe kivi yako mm. lakini usiseme kuna mwingine anapeana mm. tafuta baraka zako mm. shiru hii mkebe ndio nime, nimekwambia mm. ni 1960 mm. hiyo ni 2000 mm. na sasa nimekwambia juu saa zile wanaota meno mm. hawakuli wakati nakata gam mm. wanalia wanalia huyu anakulilia anabingirika kitanda kutoka mwisho mpaka mwisho huyu mwingine mm. ulali kama sasa last week yote sijalala mm. nimekuwa na wakati mgumu sana so mm. una ununue dawa ya, ya uchungu ununue appetite ndio mm. wazizi nja mm. ndio waweze kuendelea na maisha mm. eh, nimeona mm. eh. so sasa mm. maisha si rahisi sana mm na hii uchumi na uko kwa nyumba ukilea mm. ninapatwa na na mambo magumu sana mm. lakini juu nilishikilia imani faith mm. usikate hiyo imani eh, si, nashikilia imani nasema uh, hii mkebe ikiisha mm. na ifunua hivi nikiweka kijiko hii ya mwisho hivi mm. nimeinamisha mkebe hivi naambia Mungu sasa mm. eh, tuliagana na wewe hii mkebe ikiisha hivi mm. wewe na wewe uta utalete ingine so mimi na, na imani yangu mm. najua Mungu ataendelea kuleta hii mkebe eh. na hata mtu akiguswa asikie shiro atanunulia box mzima aki nitashukuru mm. juu hiyo inanipeanga stress tu sana mm. na diapers mm. lakini sasa hii naendelea kuwafunza apoti mm. ndio at least niondoke diapers mm. kidogo at least back ya jioni mm. lakini sasa maziwa tukifikisha miaka tatu nitasikia kupenda kwa moyo wangu kumetimia kumetimia kabisa mm. nitashukuru Mungu na nimwambie thank you Lord for working with me for providing and providing this none for my babies because mm. now they don't have another mother mm. ni mimi tu wataangalia mm. anything they want they call mami mami mama anakuita mm. mami mama mama mm. they call mama mama mm. so mama can give me something huyu mm. anapenda kusema kalia Kalia is milk. Is milk. Eh, hey, anasema Kalia. Hey. Oh yeah. yeah Achi so... nimefurahi sana. Mm. Na hata venye nimepata hao watoto wame grow. Mm. Na mnaona tu venye hao watoto wame wamedunga, eh? Wako wasafi. I'm telling you mama amejitolea kabisa na anawasaidia. Anasaidia watoto kabisa. Na kama venye mama amesema ati hii maziwa ikiisha venye anaombanga tu Mungu. Sisi tumefika tu hapa leo. Na unaona maziwa ni kama nikuisha inaisha. So mtazamaji siji unaonaje kama utamrushia kitu aongeze hii maziwa. Uh, kubali tu utumike, kubali tu ukue. Mungu ni wewe atatumia wa usaidie mam umtumie maziwa ingine. Sisi tunaacha maziwa yetu pia uh, sababu ni kuisha inaisha. Tume tumesikia tumesikia toibu wake, toibu wa moga bo agai. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> sauti ya Mungu. Tumesikia hiyo sauti ya Mungu eh, na tukasema eh. hata sisi tutakuja na tutamwangalia and that's why we are here. So tusikubali mkebe inaenda inaisha mpaka mama anasikia ni kama like you know ako peke yake. Chukua tu namba yake ya simu sababu atapeana namba yake ya simu hapo. Ukwe tu namwangalia, ukwe tu namsaidia na chochote tu kenye utapata. Na mama sijui kitu yako ya kwanza ya mwisho utasemaje? Eh, niseme <laughs> nashukuru Mungu sana sana sana. Mm sababu eh, ametushikilia sana yeah. na hawa watoto mm. isipokuwa hiyo sasa kama ishu kubwa ile walikuwa naye ya, 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 ya jodi mm. wakafanywa phototherapy mm-hmm. na hii ingine ya uh, surgery ya ya, ya hania mm. hawa watoto 
labda kahoma yenye utachukua kapili toni wapatie kijiko moja moja mm. wapone hakuna hospitali mi uenda mm. ni ya mwisho yeah. nilimalizana na clinic ya yeah. mwaka moja na nusu yeah. sasa labda hii wanapewa ya polio yeah. na, na ya vitamin hakuna mm. ugonjwa uh, Mungu ametuzuia mm-hmm. hata mimi sijagonjeka mm-hmm. miaka hiyo miwili despite ya kuchoka sana siro mm. Zini kwambie ni kwa naamka after every 3 hours after every 3 hours mm-hmm. unaamka kunyonyesha watoto eh. sasa si amkangi hivyo mm-hmm. ndio nashukuru Mungu sana ndio yeah. nimekwambia ya kwanza kabisa mm-hmm. ni shukurani kwa Mungu mm-hmm. kwa kutuondolea magonjwa mm-hmm. ya pili ni kushukuru kila mtu ambaye ameshikilia hapa mm-hmm. bila nyinyi kunishikilia singeweza mm-hmm. sababu si kwa na anything watoto wakiwachwa mm-hmm. ni vile tu waliwachwa kwa mikono yangu mm-hmm. Ni vile tu waliwachwa kwa mikono yangu. Mm. E, si 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 kwa na kitu ati nimewachukua. Mm. Shiro unaona hii nyumba yangu uliwacha hivi tu. Mm. Ningekuwa nimetoka kutafuta pesa ya kuiweka tile. Mm. Lakini siwezi wacha hawa watoto. Hapana mm. wacha niendelee kufagia. Mm. Siku Kwa-kwa. Mungu atafanya iwekwe tile itawekwa. Lakini oh my hours, oh my nini nipe ni, ni hawa wakue. Mm. Na wewe msikilizaji Mm. Unishikirie tu. If you have that seed of love in you, mm. just ex- express it to these babies. Mm. One day watakuwa watu. Ah uh, uh, um, ah, watu these are kings in making. Mm. They are kings in making. Like huyu sasa angalia anaenda YouTube na 2 years. Mm. Anaenda anaweka chochote ambacho anataka. Mm. Si unaona Mungu kuna kitu anafanya. Mm. So it's good to give thanks mm. kwa Mungu sana sana mm. sababu amefanya ame, ame hao watoto hata ni werefu hakuna mm. hakuna kitu inawasumbua mm. so okay. shukuru mm. mungu kwa hayo yote mm. usichoke wewe ulifanya ukanunua mkebe ya kwanza mm. tukianza hao watoto kuwalea usichoke wewe mm. ulinunua ya pili usichoke mm. na wewe endelee so, mpaka ya tatu mpaka wa wamalize. wamalize so tuko na nidhiri ukisikia utanunua na nidhiri Mm. Uliteka katoni moja mm. usikie mm. utanunua diapers wanavaa extra large mm. eh, soft care mm. ukisikia wata, utalete tu kabado ka moja mm. mtashukuru mm. eh, na wapeanga wita bi mm. na wa, na wapatia wanakunywa uji mm. ukisikia wanakula ugali mm. so wataunga hata ndizi kila kitu sasa wanakula mm. kipika ka ugali hivi mm. Ukipika supageti weke minji ndani mm-hmm. wanakula so usichoke if you have that that uh, seed of love in you mm-hmm. u, u, u express tu kwa hawa tusaidiane tusaidiane wakue wainuke mm-hmm. waende shule wasome mm-hmm. wavike university mm-hmm. they are kings in making uh, so we yeah. appreciate god for you mm-hmm. uh, for standing with us and working with us this journey mm-hmm. it is tough Raising, kids, raising twins mm. without any income mm. raising twins the mm. ukwakule wakunywe wavae wavae unaona mpaka wana match eh wana match hapa na jaribu kidogo na jaribu kidogo wewe unaweza kuwa na nguo zako ziko kwa nyumba watoto wa wavae unaweza lete unaweza kuwa na toys hizi zimevunjika zimevunjika hizi bedia bedia zimevunjika hizi toy imevunjika watoto wameendesha mpaka ikavunjika na bado wanaipenda so ukiwa na yako tu autumii watoto wame overgrow hiyo unaweza leta tu tutashukuru tu wawache hata kupigania hiyo kitu moja na tutasema ni asanti tu na utabarikiwa baraka ni sam do you know what uh, uh, if you plant a seed of love in a germinate Mm. na generation to generation mm. what a harvest mm. so you are you are you are uh, uh, children and to grandchildren mm. what a harvest hata mm. kama wewe hautakuwa mm. they will harvest so mm. it's good to do good mm. ati mwenye anajua kufanya uzuri na afanyi mm. ni kukosa anakosa mm. so wewe usikose usi mungu mfanyie mm. kazi yake mm. kuna malipo god bless you all mm. na watendee wema hata shiro mm. Asante sana kwa kutoka mbali. Sikejua uko. <laughs> Lakini 
Kuna you are part of our family. So yes. wajima ninge kuja. <laughs> you are now a toto. Yes. Wame grow. I'm so happy kukuta wako healthy. Yes. Wame fikisha two years. Yes. And I feel so blessed ata kushe ya birthday na wow. Yes. Like, you know, the small cake that we have cut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two gis, indio? Yeah, uh, two so gis. So I'm so happy, two gis. Uh, uh, mkwe, mkwe, may God bless you. Amen. May God increase you. In Jesus' uh, name. Mkwe wa lide. Mkwe wa kuba. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus, in, Jesus in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name amen ana kemanga amen nzuri sana sasa hii amekuwa nini na simu so guys i think what we are going to do ni uh, we are going to end the video and i'm going to ask our mom to give us her number so that in case you'd like to chip in with uh, some clothes maybe kuna mtu yamefikisha 2 years i mean 5 years na ame ame outgrow maguo zake na ungetaka kusaidia hawa we are, we, are, we are receiving anything like everything that you are going to offer we are so open and also once you take her number you can also decide to come and visit her ah uh, ukuje tu kaona tembea kuona hao watu hivi they are so loving they are so good they are so handsome boys saa hizi wako 2 years na unajua tantrum inaanza kwa 2 years so nini ukiwanyanganya kitu wanajirushanisha huko mwingine huko wanapigania kitu moja so guys we are not going to continue with this uh, show for longer uh, tutaiachia hapo ndio mom and uh, kuangalia watoto wake hapa waache kupigana na may god bless you so much to me appreciate tu sana 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 the whole journey that you've been working with us kushikilia watoto we don't take it for granted we really thank you so much guys we appreciate you and may you may god bless you so much na msiwai kosa anything that you pray may god provide for you and uh, may god enrich you in everything and in, in whatever that you do na niwaambie wako karibu vile umewaambia na nikwambie vizuri ni asante kuleta cake tume enjoy na o namba yangu ni 0727 564 7 Two seven five six four seven five nine. Imagine it took me. Sarah Maina. Na it was Sarah Wajiro Maina. Ya S E R A H. Sarah S E. Si Sarah ya e. Watu wakinita wananita Sarah. Lakini ya kitaburisho ni Sarah Wanjiro Maina. Okay. So uko karibu sana. Mm. Hapa tembea hapa tu. Mm. Hapa ni kwa mother of the nation. Wewe watu msema ukitaka refugee camp uh-huh. ukiwa na shida enda kwa Sarah tu. So mm. me, I have a big heart. I do accommodate watu wote. Mm. Na sinanga ubaguzi mm. yeyote. Mm. So kila mtu ako karibu na asikie tu wako nyumbani aguze mm. roho za watoto hawa mm. na Mungu atabariki na atabariki watoto wako. Ni kweli asante sana. Okay. God bless you. God bless you all. Musikose kitu. Amen. Eh.